am so very excited to be at the Boys and Girls Club of Gloucester County. Um, right here off Ellis Road, you probably go by it a thousand times, but today you're gonna get an inside look with the new CEO, Tay Walker. So Tay, first of all, I, I feel honored. I had the chance to meet you and you hadn't even started yet. You had taken the job, but you hadn't started and you came in to yes. meet a, a few of us that uh, we yes. had gathered. And it was so I was so touched that you would take the time to come and do that. So it is truly my honor to be here with you today, Amy. And I have shared with you many, many times, you are my shero. <laughs> there, it, on so many different levels, I feel blessed and honored. Um, my career has spanned many different places, many different years, many, many years. Um, and I have done probably just about everything that you could imagine in public health and advocacy. Um, I've done work in Trenton. I've worked at the New Jersey Department of Health. I've also worked at the YWCA of Princeton. I was the CEO there. I've done a lot of work in Camden City. I worked for the Federally Qualified Health Center there, CAM Care. Um, and it's really just been an incredible journey, but I feel so blessed and honored right now to be the CEO for the Boys and Girls Clubs of Gloucester County. Isn't it funny that all those little pieces, it's like they prepare you for what yes. you're doing today. And I know that, um, you know, you and I have had the privilege to meet each other before, and I just am overwhelmed at sort of the breadth and depth of the work that the Boys and Girls Club are doing. So tell me the practical, like how, how, do, how does somebody get to you and what age kids are, are part of the programming? Absolutely. So we have our after school program mm -hmm. and that is for any child that is between the ages of 5 and 13. Okay. Our tweens are considered between 11 and 13. We're also looking to be able to increase um, services for our teens. So teens between the ages of 14 to 18. Okay. We're really uh, committed to career development, um, workforce development, as well as um, being able to, to, to the health and, and, and life skills and training. We had the privilege to be at, at your gala, Dr. Fred Keating yes. from the Rowan College of South Jersey and myself, and we've started a partnership um, where yes. Inspira pays the tuition of the student if they enter into a Rowan College of South Jersey program. As soon as you get employed at Inspira within that first 90 days, you can yes. sign up for classes. And I think that's part of what we're talking about is how do Absolutely. we create that pipeline Absolutely. to inspire people to A, think about healthcare, but B, also to go to school. Absolutely. That's the key, right? Absolutely. And that's the one thing um, as well. College is definitely important, but we do know a lot of um, members in the community are not able to go to college. And so we are really here as a safety net to be able to help the children. Um, to be able to make them feel safe, to also be able to provide um, access. In, in, in Gloucester County, um, I believe the last um, community needs assessment that was done, it was mental health services is something that our young children really need access to. And for me, sometimes I come to the centers and, and it just puts a smile on my face when I look at the interactions between my staff and between the kids, um, what we're doing and how we're connecting families. It makes a difference. It definitely makes a difference. And the family Families are connected and that's why the kids are coming. And I know that your partnership with the local schools is Absolutely. critically important. So maybe you could talk a little bit about that and how sometimes they help you, you know, bridge that gap to make that Absolutely. connection. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we have our director of programs and operations who works in conjunction with our two centers and oversees the directors, uh, the club directors, um, being able to have those connections with the superintendents and with the, the school counselors. So if we do have children who or in the schools who are having any kind of challenges, we are directly linked in with the providers at the schools. Um, and that is a critical partnership. Again, COVID did so many different things, not just with the with the learning, but also with socialization, being and able isolation. to stay connected, isolation, significant um, across the entire county. So for us, being able to, to be one of those dot connectors means so much to us, but we couldn't do it alone. And so without the partnerships like Inspira Health, without the partnerships, um, you know, within the community and, and with um, Rowan, it, it, it's just, it's amazing. And it feels good to be a part of that. When I drove in today, there was one of the Rowan students who had just was walking in to be here for the after school program. And so talk about that. Do you have students who come in and participate and we work do. with you as part of the internships? Yes, we do. Definitely Rowan College of South Jersey. Absolutely. We also have, um, we, we partner with, with, with all colleges within, um, within the area. Um, and just really being able to, you know, again, it's, it's the, the beginning of their careers. And so 
same way that my staff has been poured into, they pour into the younger generation. And then that younger generation pours into our children um, that we provide those services for. It's extremely important for us as we think about the future, we're looking to develop solid um, partnerships, solid relationships, but strong programs for our youth here in Gloucester County, because we don't just service um, Glassboro and Paulsboro. We are here for the entire county, all of Gloucester County. So we are looking to be able to expand our footprint um, and, and really to be that hub. We want to be a partnership hub. We want to be um, a training hub. We want to be able to be here um, as a needed resource, but also as a wanted resource yeah. in the community. You know, you've only been here a short period of time. You started in August, I think, right? Yep. The, yeah. yeah and, and here we are now and yeah. you're six months and you really have hit the ground running. I hope that you have Absolutely. felt the warmth and the welcoming I of the can. community and know how grateful we are that you have come to bring your resources and expertise to us. I mean, Thank we you. know the strong foundation that you're building on, but having that visionary leader is really exciting. And of course, as a partner, I'm so grateful to you and Thanks. for you and Thanks. for the work that you do for our community every day. Thank you. I want to thank all of you for participating today, for having a chance to learn more about the Boys and Girls Club. And obviously the number is up there. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. Um, we're glad to connect with you and uh, just grateful for your, your time, your effort, and most importantly, to educate you about this tremendous resource in our community. Until we meet again, be well and stay safe.